Hey, everybody. CK here. Wait, 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 wait. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey. Hey, should be, should be, should be. <laughs> anyway, oh, and we can't forget this part because this is where you guys can join in. I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Ficky, Ficky, Ficky. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I didn't do anything really. I didn't do a primer or anything, but I just got to filming a video on how to apply false lashes the non-YouTuber way. I know I'm a YouTuber, okay? But the non-YouTuber way because it's not really um, the common way that I see YouTubers apply lashes, but it's the way I do it. And so it works for me. So when you do something and it works for you, you keep doing it, boo. All right, so this video that I'm gonna do is on this LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. I have the blue, I have the yellow, I have the orange. Is it orange? Yeah, girl, it looks orange. I have the orange and I have the white. So on Instagram, my Seeky Beauty Instagram, which is Seeky underscore beauty, I posted a picture of the PR package that is huge and it's the bomb.com. And so I posted it and I got a lot of like responses from it. So you know I had to come back with a video and that was the plan anyway. But before we move any further, I would like to invite you guys to join the fan band, okay? If you have not subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do and click the notification bell so that you don't miss another upload okay so you don't miss a beat girl so you're not left out so you don't have FOMO okay we don't want you to have FOMO if you're missing out all right you don't have to you can click the notification bell in this whole PR kit I just pulled out four foundations to see which one matches me the best and I have no idea but I tell you what if it does not match then hopefully this mixing medium situation or mixing pigment can come to the rescue the LA girl pro color foundation mixing pigment in white it says that it is to lighten your shade so if you have a shade that is way way too dark for you the white will lighten it up all right and i'm gonna go in the order they have it on the box so then this one is the yellow one and it says that the yellow shifts a foundation shade to a golden undertone now you guys know that i have a super de duper like funny type undertone situation okay i really do like first of all i have olive I have golden, I have some reds. Like when I went to um, Lancome and they mixed my perfect foundation, it was like yellow, it was um, red, it was white. They had so much in there. I was like, dang, like I'm a serious piece of work. <laughs> but that's all right though. So this one actually makes it more golden. So we may have to use this, I don't know. We shall see. And then we have a blue, okay? And it says that the blue shifts a found shade, a found shade? <laughs> so it says that the blue shifts a foundation shade to a neutral undertone. Now, in some instances, I may have to shift my shade to a neutral undertone, but it just depends. Like, I can't really say, oh, I always have to mix it to neutral. Oh, I always have to mix it to golden. It depends on what I'm working with with the foundation, all right? Even when I'm doing other people's foundation, when I'm doing, you know, and I'm a makeup artist as well. So when I'm doing clients, it depends on what their skin is giving me. It depends on how that foundation is reacting to their skin, right? Because I have a friend who is a little bit darker than me and there's one foundation that we wear the same shade in and you could not have paid me money to believe that we wear the same shade. I'm just saying, undertones different, shade different, all of that. And you know, whenever you see this situation, I'm gonna get my life all the way together at the end. So cafe is all the way neutral and a little bit light. That is cafe. I'm hoping that I can find a shade that I do not have to mix. I mean, you know, mix as far as the color, right? If I have to do the undertone, that's fine. Now this one is car caramel, girl. Caramel, caramel, whatever floats your boat. But that has more golden, but it's pretty light. Okay, so I'm thinking move over cafe, come through caramel. Let me move that out the way because I get, you know, mixed up that has a lot of golden in it right you see how that cafe is like for real for real neutral it's even pulling kind of pink and then this one is maybe i should do cappuccino after so this one is golden bronze that is it's golden but 
huh, I feel like I've seen some kind of red in there. Oh my gosh, this is interesting. These colors are very interesting. So the next color is gonna be, see on my hand? The next color is gonna be Soft Sable. Oh my Lord. I oh, don't know, girl. Oh, wow. That is really interesting. That's super dark. I'm gonna put it back here. That's definitely a no-go. Oh, man. I got to be a chemist on today. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay. And so I thought that that wouldn't be my zhuzh. But I'm thinking that cappuccino is the closest. Although it has a little more red in it, we are going to use the golden undertone for it or the yellow to make it a little more golden because you guys know that I like to match. And if you don't know, now you know. I like to match my neck. My neck is a little bit lighter and it's a little more golden, whereas my face is, um, it has more red in it, okay? Except for like the highlighted area, but for real, it's more red. And so this is, you know, oh, that picture is so vivid, right? And then so not only did it come with that, but it came with a brush and it came with a plate to mix it on. Hey, this is like a little um, a face chart almost. So it says foundation plus the pigment equals perfection. Mixing to perfection. Customize like a pro. So first of all, let me hit this primer because I do not put on any foundation without a primer. So this is the Veil Cosmetics Primer. And I really like it because I feel like it's hydrating, but then I don't feel like it's, um like super moist you know what i mean like it doesn't make me look super glossy and i don't feel like i'm gonna start off oily with the foundation so this foundation oh shoot it says it's a matte foundation high definition long wear matte foundation all right long wear matte foundation all right so let me hit you with where are my correctors girl so the two correctors of choice that i use which i'll probably kind of skip through this because you guys see this all the time but it's the urban decay um concealer Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer, I should say, girl. And it's the Dark Warm. And I like that as a corrector around my mouth because I feel like a corrector around my hyperpigmentated... Pigmentated? Pick what? <laughs> a corrector around my hyperpigmentation around my mouth and everything, I like for it to stay. I don't like using a corrector that moves once I, you know, get ready to get my foundation on. So the next corrector I use is the Makeup Forever HD Corrector. It is R50. And I like this one for under my eyes because if I use the Urban Decay, it's a tad bit drying. And we already talked about that dry under eye situation. But y'all probably already know this. And not that I have like extreme dark circles, but they are, you know, they're there. And if I'm going to wear makeup, I want my makeup flawless, right? I don't want any shadows or anything. I just want it to be a flawless application. So first off, let's mix this um, cappuccino. I, I like foundation, so I ain't got a lot to kick it. We just, yeah, mm -hmm. we're putting a lot because that's how I do. And I feel like it. I may be wasting a little bit of product, guys, but at least once I mix it, I don't have to keep doing it, okay? So that's one of my reasons, okay? There's a little bit of method to my madness. And we're just going to start from jump, and we're going to use the yellow because we already know that it has a little more red than I would like. So that I'm not going to put a lot, but, oh, Cletus, let's, come on. Come on, girl. So I don't usually apply my foundation with a brush, but especially a brush like this. Oh, that just kind of blended in. But it's it's matching my face to the T, and that's not what I want. You see? Ooh, bars. I wasn't even trying. Let's do it on this side because I can see in the in the uh, monitor. See, that's too red. I don't want it that red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Mix some yellow in that. I need more, more, more. Let me get my beauty blender. Much better. Now you see how it's like matching my face now? Okay, 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 LA girl. That stuff does really work. And that foundation is pretty. Like, is that giving me full coverage? Y'all know one thing I learned how to do is mix, okay? That's the one thing I learned how to do because it's hard finding my shade. That really works. So you can do this with any foundation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the plate so you guys can see the difference. Just in case you didn't catch it on my face. So you see, this was it first, which has a little bit more red. And this is it with the yellow in it. Now, let's take this uh, concealer 
which they have two that I've been loving. Remember, I was like, suede is my shade. So this shade is suede. And I'm going to mix this with fawn. And then after I get this on, I'm going to blend everything out. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys the final look and see if we like how it's set. Okay, guys. So I told you that I would come back. And um, you can't even see my jewelry. Let me fix it. But I'm going to tell you what. See, this is what I'm rocking. Oh, see, there's a mic again. That's what I'm rocking. And to be honest, it doesn't really go with this. Um, I don't think it goes with this turban. But I was about to put on a unit. And I was like, girl, let me just rock. I put a picture up on the gram with this on. And I was like, oh, my gosh. It totally matches my shirt. So anyway, I think that um, I'm going to be doing a video on the Marc Jacobs foundation as well. And I'm going to tell you right now, I think that the color shifts in that foundation. So I'll probably try this um, LA Girl mixing pigment with that too. So it's good to know that it works. So at first I was thinking I was looking like a little grayish. I thought it gave a little gray cast. But sometimes with all of these lights, it plays tricks on me a little bit, right? But when I just went outside to, like I grabbed a bite to eat, y'all. So it's been, it's been a couple hours since y'all seen me. And so it looks fine to me. So now that I'm back, I'm like, it's actually perfect. What do y'all think? Like the foundation actually looks good. But I just wanted to come back, show you the final look. Um, of course, Beverly Hills, Ofra. That's it, you guys. So make sure that you subscribe to the Fan Bam and make sure you like. Don't forget to thumbs up. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And if you want to see like a wear test on this foundation, because I've had it on for a couple of hours now, then let me know. Because this wasn't really a wear test. It was more of a let me find my shade. Let me see if this mixing situation really works. Okay. So if you guys want an actual detailed video where I wear it for hours on hours and I show you what I rock with it, like I showed you a little bit, but I didn't really give you like a full face. You feel what I mean? So if you want a more detailed review on the foundation, let me know. But as for right now, she cute. She cute. So you guys have an awesome blessed day once again, and I'll see you sooner than you think. Bye. Tiki be me, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. Tiki beauty makeover.